Team touchdown in South Carolina Saturday morning. Winds are reaching 85 miles per hour. If we have a TV in the break room, we could keep up with Hurricane Matthew's path. It just knocked down a lot of power lines, a lot of trees, a lot of the back roads were closed down. It flooded out most of our backyard. All this area here was just tree limbs. My best friend, her brother-in-law, and my son's best friend helped us clean it up, like cut down some of the trees that were like half broken. We had to drag them all out back over into the back back there. We could just hear the chainsaw and you can hear the cracks of the trees and we went into the backyard and we saw that my husband was getting ready to cut down another tree. Him and his friend and his friend's uncle had a rope and they was pulling the tree back this way and I started notching it out to cut it. Him and his friend was over there, the uncle was over here. As it went to fall, Victor left him over there and ran to that tree. That's when it hit him. Me and his friend ran down there and lifted the tree up off of him and his mom drug him. I can't do this, man. When I got to him, I was about here and my husband and his best friend were there pulling the tree up and I just literally just grabbed him, kind of like how it is now, in muck and rain and water. And I'm I just pulled him out and I fell right here. And I just held him in my lap. I just kept talking to Victor and I was like, "You, Victor, stay with mommy, stay with mommy, stay with mommy, you can't leave me. I saw a text message from Kimberlina. It came out of the blue and it said, I need the doctor at MUSC. Victor Shellhammer is 16. He's medevaced to MUSC two minutes ago. A tree fell on him. And that, that was all I got. If you can imagine that Victor had enough force to cause bleeding on the brain, plus a bruise in the brain and that skull fracture, that's a tremendous amount of force to shake the brain back and forth. By the time he got to the emergency room, he was awake and able to talk. He was not himself. He was very confused. It's 2018. I am. Okay. I have never had a problem here until you first came here. Even the mildest head injury patient has the potential to deteriorate within the first 24, 48, 72 hours. They didn't know if he was going to survive through the night or not, that it was just the swelling that they had to watch. A patient who comes in who's conscious may rapidly deteriorate and become unconscious. It really affected all of us in, in, in the store. I just prayed, that's all I could do. All I just kept thinking was, is I can't leave him, I can't sleep, I can't do anything because what if his brain just keeps swelling and he does die?